That time of the year again, good to see uh, a lot of familiar faces, some new faces, but uh, sounds like a little bit like our team, we go opposite. A lot of new faces, but a lot of eager Huskies uh, with us this year. Our guys' attitudes have been phenomenal. There's a lot of uh, appreciation amongst our team that they're here playing for the Washington Huskies, which is a really good thing for camaraderie and for our program in general. We will start uh, this weekend, obviously, uh, like we do every year. We'll go out to Evergreen and uh, spend some time together and understand kind of how we handle ourselves, supposed to handle, supposed to handle ourselves uh, on the road a little bit, do a little bonding, and get a whole lot of practicing in. Our guys are already familiar with each other because of the seven weeks or so that they spent together in the summer, and now the last couple of weeks here in September, We've been, to get, uh, we've been together and uh, we have a lot to learn, but our guys, uh, you can just tell, are starting to get uh, antsy for us to really start practicing. So fire away. Before you, before you start practicing, are, are there one or two or three things that you are certain that this team will do better than, than last year's team did? I think we have the ability to pressure the basketball more than, than we have in the last two, three years. I think we'll do a better job of that. I think we have a group collectively that's better at making plays, uh, making plays for themselves and making plays for others. And I think we'll be a more athletic team, that's for sure. Do you anticipate picking up the tempo at all this season? Yeah, because of the athleticism, because we have more athleticism. And because we will be able to pressure a little more, we have more guys that can make plays, that will allow us to do what we've done for the majority of our time here at the University of Washington, and that is play up tempo. It seems like we haven't done it in a couple of years. It's like we've never done it before. That's how we play, up tempo. We just haven't been able to do it in the last couple of years. Have a few decided on an offense and defense decided yet? Uh, it's the same as last 13 years, same thing. We run our motion, we, we sprinkle it in, we go with the high post. And, uh, the, I said the last 13, the last couple of years, we haven't been able to pressure, as I've already said a couple of times. We haven't been able to pressure, we'll go back to doing that. It's our same old attack type style. Uh, depending on the personnel, we will use more motion or, or more high post than uh, go back to. 2009, 2010, we ran high post quite a bit. And 2013 and 14, we ran it uh, even more than last year. We ran more motion, but, uh, but uh, ran high post as well. So we'll do pretty much the same thing we've been doing for the majority of the time that we've been here. What's been the biggest adjustment over your 13 years? So when you have young teams, what has been the toughest thing for them to acclimate to, to the end of, especially back uh, in the past that we've had young teams, yeah. learning how to pull games out at the end, learning what it takes. There were many times when we we played well enough to win the game, but then when it came down to it, we weren't quite able to close the deal. We just weren't quite sure how to do that. We uh, weren't quite sure how to do that on the road at times. So that's something that we'll spend quite a bit of time on in the preseason, season, trying to put our guys in those situations as best we can so that uh, they're comfortable when we are in, in those positions again, which much, we will be. How much of a challenge do you think it'll be to get these guys to play the, the kind of defense and dedicate the effort to defense that you want and get them in the right spots, considering how, how young everyone is? The effort will be there with our guys. That won't be the issue. Uh, learning how to be in sync, working in unison together, I like everyone's own strength. That may take a little time uh, to get it done, but uh, I believe hopefully earlier than later it happens because we have a very challenging schedule right off the bat. But uh, I, I think we will pick it up. Uh, guys are already trying to take ownership of trying to play the way that we are asking them to do. Do you still see the defense being kind of the foundation of, of what you guys want to be Absolutely. as a team? There's no doubt about it. We, 
if we can't be aggressive and be dictators in the defensive end, then we're just going to be mediocre. That's where it all starts. Coach, what kind of adjustments does the staff have to make? You've got so many young guys. You're used to having some of the classmen that maybe know how you want things done. But, you know, Andrew and Duncan have been here a year. I mean, it's almost like you have to start from scratch with these guys, which may be a good thing. But what adjustments have you guys had to make? Well, we kind of try to start from scratch every year, but the difference is we have to stay there a little longer. In other years, you start from scratch, you build your foundation, but you systematically kind of go through it. Now, with these guys, it's just going to take a long, little longer to get to some things uh, so that uh, we're able to understand what we're doing. I don't know. Uh, when guys were healthy in the past, even though we may not have, may not have had the most talented group, we still may have had a deep rotation. I can't give you the numbers on what that's going to look like. I just know we'll, we'll be fresh when we're in there. When we're playing. Can you give us starting lineup? What's that? Can you give us starting lineup? Oh, yeah, I can give you a starting lineup. I'll tell you how many points everybody's going to average. Yeah. 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 Just, just, just wait on it. Because there are so many new pieces, how, how did the summer self scout for you go, the postseason self scout go for you? How did the what? The, the kind of your self scout kind of evaluating what happened. What the, how were you able to do that considering you had you know, so many new pieces coming in? And, and you mentioned the refresh. I mean, it does seem like everything is so fresh. What do you take back from last year to try to apply it this year? Uh, I don't know what we would take from Years prior, when we've had, I would, I would compare this year more like 2007 when we had four freshmen coming in and some new players that were going to play quality minutes. Uh, I, would, I would look back at that year. That probably would be more similar to what we're, we're going through here. And I think back then, I'm pretty sure we weren't able to have two hours a week with our guys in the summer. So when we started out in October, that's when we first got to really work with them. Well, September 15th. The seven weeks make it a little easier for us to get a better feel that we had in the summer to learn our guys. So you see right now, we fix things up like that. If, if you guys that are new that show up one time, they've got it. And we don't have very many slow learners with this group. Guys pick things up pretty quickly. So we've been able to uh, assess that uh, with Bart just right. Could, could you please go through maybe each of the newcomers and just a, a thought or two on, on each one of them? And how do you think they made it All nine of them. <laughs> 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 we actually have 10. Joe Knight is a walk-on, so he's with us. He's new, so we, we have 10. Uh, I'll to your What's that? I said I'll refer to your job. OK, well, you asked the question. I will try to accommodate you. Um, I'll try to go quick on this one. We can talk afterwards if you have further questions. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the, the guards, I guess. Uh, David Chris. I feel like I've talked about this before when we recruited these guys and signed them. You prefer how they. Okay, I'll talk. David Chris stopped me. Uh, Aggressive, really good athlete, really good athlete, strong, uh, picks things up really well. Won a national championship last year at Brewster Academy in New Hampshire. Uh, is excited about being a Husky. DeJounte Murray also played at Rainier Beach, won a state championship. Uh, is very versatile, shoots the ball. Pass it, dribble it. A uh, guy that can make plays for himself and others. Long, long. That's a, I think a uh, recurring theme you'll hear with our guys. We have a lot of length. Even though we don't have the seven footers, we have a lot of length. A lot of light-sized guys, common-sized guys, which will allow us to play that defense and 
get out of the past and the He's one of those guys. Uh, he's Tyler. Is, is a big time athlete. He ran a, a 455 mile. Or he ran a mile. That's the best anyone's ever done for us since we've been here. Matter of fact, the head coach uh, doing this about 20 years, he's going to have you one break for five minutes. He broke five minutes, 455. Uh, long again, picks things up really quickly. Uh, he's going to be a very good defender. But uh, surprisingly, he'll be a better offensive player than people may think he will be. Noah Dickerson, uh, arguably, is our best low post scorer right now really understands where he is uh, around the basket. He can also step out and knock the, the shot down from the perimeter. I would say when you think of uh, Jamal Williams who played for us, who was a good, good low post scorer, Noah is somewhere along those lines. Uh, we got Jamal Williams a junior now. Noah's a freshman, but he has the capability to be able to do that. Uh, another guy who won two national championships at Mount Perry Academy. Marquise Chris, uh, outstanding leaper, has an immense upside, has a lot of talent. Uh, he's, a, he's an exciting player to watch. Uh, fast, good foot speed. He's going to be a good for us. Good shot blocker. Malik Dine, I'm speaking of shot blocker, he's also a very good shot blocker. Runs the floor, probably our most vocal player. And uh, very enthusiastic teammate level. He played a national championship game at uh, Indian Hills Junior College a couple years ago. So again, is accustomed to winning. Devonair DeRusso is from California. Is about as solid a player as you want to find out there. Just doesn't make very many mistakes. Doesn't mind doing the dirty work. Loves the bang. Loves, loves the hit. Out there, and there's also a quick one for us. So I've left somebody out. Matthew, Dominic Green. Dominic Green uh, can really score the ball. He's, he's fun to watch with the ball in his hand because uh, he's one of those guys that, that for a lot of players, it may be a bad shot, but for him, it's not because he knows exactly where he is on the floor. He knows how to get to his shot. He knows how to get the spacing on the floor where he knows he's very efficient. So he can shoot the three, he can drive the ball, really good offensive play. And another guy who's amazing. All these guys have, have great play. Matthew Attaway uh, will sit out this year, obviously, because of the transfer from, uh, transfer from Auburn. But uh, very strong, uh, very fast. Uh, but we won't be able to have his services. And Joe Knight is a, a newest addition who will walk on about six foot seven, six foot eight, and uh, works really hard. You have an idea of, of how you want to use DeJounte just yet? I mean, can he play point guard? Is he more of a two guard? Uh, that's the beauty of DeJounte. He's very versatile. He can, Brandon Roy, you know, what position? <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what position DeJounte is. He's, he's a guy that can bring the ball in transition to make plays. He can play the point for you. He can play on the way. Screens, he can post up, he's just very versatile. So you don't want to pigeonhole him in one little position over right here because he's going to be all over the place. Oh, yeah. Like 20 years old, right? Yeah, he's, he's messed with him. You know, they know Andrew has, has far more experience than everybody else than any of them, so they ask him a lot of questions. And he's very accommodating. And they're all messing together fun. Coach, you told me earlier one of the most important things is reestablishing the culture here. Tell me, can you talk a little bit about that with the impact that Will Conway has on establishing that culture as well as having some Seattle guys? Well, there's, I mean, there's another new member as the 11th member, Coach, Coach Conroy. I went from uh, calling him Will as a player to Dub C when he wasn't playing here anymore to Coach Conroy. He's Coach Conroy now. He is, uh, he obviously brings a lot of passion 